of the Southland Whopper Tellers Club is called to order. The one who tells the biggest bib, uh, Whopper, wins this cup. Hmm, I wonder what's keeping Deputy Dog. Good nubbit! Just when I'm ready to go to the Whopper Tell and meet in the jailhouse is slutted. Well, boys, we can't wait any longer. Our first contestant is Vincent Van Gopher. Make it good, Vance. Well, one day while exploring an old tunnel in the mountains, I came upon a super-duper buried treasure. When I say there were pearls as big as basketballs, they were the small ones. And diamonds so large, if you made a ring from one, it would fit around a hippopotamus, sideways. Then, all of a sudden, who oh, we a pirate. I grabbed one of the diamonds and headed for the entrance. That big old pirate kept swishing at me like he was slicing up ham for a cheap sandwich. You know, real thin. But when the sunlight hit that big diamond, the rays reflected in the pirate's eyes so he couldn't see a thing. And he ran right off the cliff. It started a tremendous earthquake. And the whole mountain caved in on the treasure. <laughs> Pretty good whopper they advanced. If I don't find out what's causing that flood, I'll miss that meeting and all the ramifications. Whatever that may mean. Hooey! There's my trouble, a giant catfish. No use waiting for Dippity Dog. Musky, we'll hear your entry in the Whopper contest. Free, Musky. Go, go, go. Well, one day, while up on Black Oak Ridge, I stumbled upon a bird's nest the likes of which you've never seen. And sitting in it was an egg so big that it made Black Oak Mountain look like a pimple on a pickle. And since I'm such a great egg lover, I started frying her out. And before you could say cock a doodle doo, I flipped that egg right out of the nest. Down Black Oak Ridge it rolled, clearing a path 235 feet wide. Then it jumped the highway and landed smack dab in the heated swimming pool at the South Van Motel. Well, sir, the tremendous force knocked the water out and the heating element in the pool cooked 7,000 pounds of scrambled eggs. Me and the motel guests ate scrambled eggs for two and a half years. Yay, musky! Ra-ra, musky! Well, boys, guess we'll just have to disqualify the old lawman. Wait a minute, Sheriff. Here he comes now. <sighs> I'm sorry I'm late, fellas, but... The crick got dammed up by a catfish as big as a trailer truck. <laughs> no wonder he's the champ every year. Since I didn't want to lose him, I got myself a battleship anchor and baited it with a whole side of beef. Then I hooked the train around the jailhouse. That catfish was so big, he gulped down that whole side of beef like it was an inchworm on a bent pin. The chain held, but the jailhouse weakened under the stress. And the last time I saw him, he was heading for the Mississippi, taking the jailhouse right along. Hoo wee! That's the biggest whopper of them all! Dag nubbit! It's the truth! <laughs> well, whatever it is, you win the championship with it! Truth is stranger than friction. <laughs>